Hey guys, my name is Kai Werner from Confluent. Today I want to show you an exciting live demo about augmented reality with event streaming powered by Apache Kafka. So let's directly get into the demo. Here's the setup and use case for that. In this case, we have built an example for the retail business. So this is the architecture which I want to demonstrate to you. On the left side, you see that the end user can use his mobile phone to do a scan or screenshot of something he's seeing somewhere. It doesn't matter if it's in a retail store, you can see it everywhere. So this means when you're walking across the street and see another person in the Starbucks who is using an iPad and you love that, and you make a picture of that, and then augmented reality gives you more information about that, like the specs, the details, the features, and then also you get the option to buy it. And you can even choose your favorite retail shop for that. So you can choose the best price or the best shipping, delivery times, and all these kind of things. That's in the details how you implement this. And also in this picture, you see that all the processing logic is happening in the back end on the right side. In this case, the picture enhancement is, is happening via a software as a service, an external offering. And the ordering is implemented with some custom Kafka applications like Kafka Streams or KSQL. So of course that's all totally up to you. You can also do some of the logic on the app on the left side. So the machine learning to enhance the model with augmented reality, of course that can also run directly on the mobile phone for example. But I think this now gives you an idea about um, how we can implement this but also how flexible you are with such an architecture. Now let's get into the demo because this is really exciting. Actually, um, how this is implemented is that um, on the client side, so this is just for Apple and it's using the Swift programming language from Apple and it's using their IDE Xcode and um, we are using the, the AR VR tool. So um, it, it's a specific thing, right? You could do the same with Unity, Unreal Engine or any other kind of augmented, augmented reality technology. That doesn't matter. The point is I will show you my mobile phone, how, how I do something and I order it and how then it's processed in the back end with, in this case, Confluent Cloud, where you have a serverless Kafka infrastructure. And with this, you can combine augmented reality with any kind of back end IT systems and processing in real time. So that's pretty cool, I think. So let's take a look at that. And for this, I have to switch. So now I'm going into my QuickTime so that you see my mobile phone. This is my dog, by the way. So um, we will, we will open the app in a minute. But before that, I also want to show you um, the setup in the back end. So what's happening here is that this is in the end Confluent Cloud running in a serverless infrastructure. And in this case, we have a few different um, use cases implemented around retail. I just want to start showing you the, the order topic. This is in the end where we will do our order from the mobile app after we decided to buy it by seeing some augmented reality on the mobile app. So here you see the structure for that. It's really pretty basic just to show you the idea. So we see the email address, the shop we use, the product, the payment, and so on. That's the, the schema registry, which you can use across the different applications then, both on the mobile app, but also in all the different backend systems to, to ensure data governance and all these things. But with that now, um, let's go into Kafka. So here, I also don't want to go into too much detail. This is really just a, a short demo. And you see a, a little bit of data is flowing. But the main point is that I want to show you one specific topic orders. So this is where our new orders are going in. So we can, for example, start from scratch because this is just a, a demo setup where we don't have many um, data sets here. But the point is, after um, we have done that, then we can um, start doing something here. This is already some historical events. But now let, let's go to the exciting part. So I will now open my mobile phone and you will actually see that on the screen, exactly what I'm seeing. And here you see we have an app which is called Augmented Reality Machine Learning Retail App from Confluent. So I will now start this app and now you will see really my home office. During Corona, we're all at home, right? So um, I can scan around. And this is the same like when I'm walking across the street or a retail store and augmented reality is enhancing that. And as you can see, um, I have way too many Apple devices and things, so I spend too much money on Apple. But anyway, um, what's more important here is now you see the scan. I'm, I'm putting it on my iPad. And what's interesting, at the, at the top in very small white language, you see um, the analytic model deployed here is predicting that this is an iPad. 
So we have scanned a few different things, like you see here the Apple Magic Mouse, different MacBooks. And again, even the model is just Hello World. But the point is that now I'm with around 90% it's sure that it's an, it's an um, um, iPad, depending on how you use it. And then we can click the button here so that it adds an augmented reality information to our mobile app. So you see that? This is virtual, right? And this is now presenting the iPad again. And in the real world, of course, um, the, the retail shop would provide much more detailed information about the specs, the price, um, comparison maybe to another um, um, thing from an Android um, um, tablet or something. And now when I like it, and again, this is not even in a shop, this is when walking through the street and, street and seeing something. Then on the bottom left in my app, I now click the button to buy it. And here I can, in this case, choose between three different vendors. In the real world, I could even show now pricing here and other benefits like shipping uh, for tomorrow, express for free or something like that. And in this case now, um, I click on Amazon. And now the product is ordered. So I can close my app here. And uh, if we go back to the Kafka topic now, um, you will see that in real time you get this information streamed. So here you see with the current timestamp, Kai Vayner on the right side has ordered another iPad here. And with this now in Kafka, you can process that in real time. You can integrate with all your other backend systems, which might be your own custom application for continuous aggregation to build things like um, location-based services, widely customers walking through the store and send them a coupon, for example. But of course, you can also integrate it then with your backend systems, like when you really want to ship the product to the customer, when you want to do fraud detection for the payment with a third party, and all these kind of things. Though that's it already actually, but I think that's a pretty cool short demo. Again, in this case we build it with some specific technologies, but you're totally open here. And I also want to point out that the kudos here goes to Karsten Müslitz, who has built the demo. He's a colleague from me from Berlin. So um, a great job by Karsten and thanks for building the demo so that I can use it here. If you have any more questions about that, feel free to connect to me or also to Karsten, of course, on LinkedIn or on Twitter. And thanks for watching this great demo about an exciting topic, augmented reality and event streaming together in the retail business.